focus, focus, dude. Focus. I should have had that recording. <laughs> it was it was recording. Oh, <laughs> oh perfect. <laughs>
Oh, holy crap. All it, right, guess what? We're a little further along than we intended to be. Yeah, it is late. I don't want to say we ran into trouble, but we definitely, uh, it was an all hands on deck to, to get some stuff done. And, and I would like to clarify that while I did grow up in the auto repair industry, um, that's not my main profession. That's not just main profession. He's a computer geek. I'm a mailman. So uh, we are shade tree people. Definitely. So we started this at uh, about 12:30. It is now almost 6:30. So six hours. So what did we do in that six hours? We did our winch mount. We did our winch install. Which, we did our winch wiring. Here's the the winch is a super ATV. 4,500 pound winch with synthetic rope and a super ATV winch mount. Um, there's no real good way to show you just how much of a pain it was, but the bolts in the back of the winch took probably an hour and a half at least just to get the four bolts in. Yeah, it was, it was a tough one. Winch wiring. I'll let Jeff kind of explain what we've done. Okay, so here's what we did. We took the positive and negative that Honda already had wired into the unit. Ran that to our winch box. The winch wires, the positive and negative for the winch that Super ATV includes. We ran that off the solenoid, did a little service bundle here. Down the tubes, down to the bottom, onto the winch to get that going. Now, Normally, all you would have to do from that point on is hook it to your switch and you're good to go. But we wanted to do a little bit of future proofing here for future accessories. So what we did is we installed a constant power accessory solenoid right here. Now when I say constant power solenoid, that is amazingly important. You cannot use a starter solenoid. You cannot use a plow solenoid. If you're running accessories and you want to run a relay or a solenoid, it has to be constant power. Don't get anything that's just made for a quick surge and then you're done, or else it will fry. Trust me, been there, done that. So make sure you get something good. From that constant power solenoid, we took the key on accessory that plugs into this little plug right over here on the frame rail. We hook that into our solenoid to activate it. So now key on activates the solenoid. And that came over here to this accessory fuse box. And that is not a Honda thing. That is something that we just installed. Yes. So what we did to get that in there is we ran bolts up through the bottom of the glove box to bolt that guy on. And to install this solenoid right here, I don't know if we can see if the light's good enough, this little bolt right here is actually a button head bolt that is underneath the uh, inside the, the cab by the driver's side. We ran that out, tucked this in between the two pieces of plastic, ran it back in, and then just drilled a hole into the plastic rivet on top. It's not going anywhere, so we don't have to worry about any of that. And then you saw earlier we had the plate for the switches in the dash that is now completely installed. The, the four buttons, and then there's for future expansion, and the winch, the winch wire, or the winch switch, and this is not the Super ATV winch switch because the one that you get is a handlebar mount or one that you can just screw onto your dash. It is not actually the right size for these, uh, these openings. So what a lot of people do when they're installing their winches and stuff is they install all of their stuff either solenoids and whatnot right in this area here. We did not do that. A couple of reasons. Reason number one is if you can see here, the underside of these things are wide open to dust, dirt, grind, mud, snow, slush, salt, anything you can think of can get up in here. Number two, there's going to be an accessory battery box right here uh, in the near future. So we needed to keep this space clear. There's also going to be the accessory mud flap kit that runs all the way across. So we wanted all of these sensitive electronics up in here behind that, nice and protected. As another level of protection, we also use dielectric grease on every single connection. So as uh, 
we just want to make sure there's there's no corroding over time. Wires break off. There's going to be a lot of bumping, a lot of jiggling, a lot of moving around under here. So that was quite quite the project. But everything's tested. Everything's working. Everything seems to be extremely high quality. We're very happy with that. Like I say, that we struggled very hard with the four bolts to mount the uh, winch to the winch plate. That is not necessarily Super ATV's fault. It is just a very tight, tight space to get it into. Yeah, I got the, the 4,500 pound winch, which has a wider base than the 35, which is what most people actually run on these little things. The 35 would have screwed right in, no problem. 45s go right up against the clamps that go around the tube frame up against that mounting point. So could, it, was, it was quite a... Could, you know, could a little bit of different engineering maybe fix those problems? Yeah, but it works, it's in. It's not like we're taking it out tomorrow to do anything. Right. It's there, it'll be there until it don't work no more. Yep. So, or, yeah. So um, all that's left on the winch, I believe, is just to button up the hood, which yep. is yeah, pretty self-explanatory, just putting pieces back on. Yep. So next, we, uh, we yeah, I guess I should say we, I did part of it while I was working on the winch. We got harnesses. Yes, uh, seat belts are gone, and they are gone, gone, gone forever. Um, because the retractors are actually in the wheel well. <laughs> yeah, they're they're buried under here. And the retractors are in here, and yeah. not that it's impossible to get them out, and not to say that they're never coming out. They may at some point, but they weren't coming out tonight. So. The seat belts, the original seat belts have been cut because they'll never be used again. Yeah, we, we didn't want seat belts anyway, we wanted the harnesses. So, um, we went with Ace Racing four point harnesses uh, with the seat belt connection. And this quick connection is actually kind of really cool. Um, anybody that's ever watched a video with a normal seat belt, if you've ever been hanging upside down in your car, you know that when you push that button, you can't get back out. You have to take the pressure off of it. These are not that way. You can put as much pressure on these things as you want, and they're still going to pop. So that's why we went with the uh, with the seatbelt connection instead of just the the quick the the claw type. And like we say on, on the talon, the retractors are kind of a pain to get to, but the the seat belts bolt there, and they bolt right down here behind that seat, and right down there. On that side yep. you don't have to take any center consoles out no nothing just pull the seats out and we also did a, uh, a seat belt bypass to do that that guy is actually underneath this piece of rubber right here you unplug your normal seat belt and it's a little eight dollar part plugs right in there so it doesn't scream at you when you're going over 10 miles an hour and then the the top the harnesses are wrapped around the, the uh, harness bar Okay, so the other thing we did was the receiver hitch. Oh, you're on the belt. So, uh, going from a sport utility machine that was more utility than sport to an actual sport machine, I had no way to haul my trailers at home. And we do do a lot of yard work and we use our side-by-side -side to haul our trailer around. So by installing that in there, all you had to do was take out the four radius rod bolts and nuts. Stick the longer ones in. Easy this, peasy. This uh, this kit does come with the new bolts. Um, I did jack the. I did this while Jeff was finishing up the wiring. All I did was jack up the back so these tires were off the ground so I could move stuff around. Um, the original ones went from the inside out and the nuts were on this side, but the new ones just a touch longer could not get them to go through so I put them in this way and put the nuts on the inside. Um, you just got to be able to jack the, the machine up so you can wiggle these radius rods around a little bit to get the the bolts through and it was it literally was a 10 minute job. <laughs> Whatever. Found a piece of plastic. <laughs> okay um, another thing that has not come in yet that we do have on order is a mudguard kit for the talent. It's a three piece kit and what it's going to do, it's uh, pieces of rubber, uh, really heavy duty rubber, that will fit 
all up in this area so you don't get mud and all that other crap in there. And there's also one for the front as well that will act kind of like a, uh, not a firewall if you will, but create a barrier between the outside world and your sensitive electronics that are on the inside. So um, we have that fun stuff on the way. That'll be here in a few days. And uh, if it goes in quick enough, we'll do a, a video and a review on that as well. So um, still more stuff to come though. We still have uh, chase lights to put on. We have the uh, roof light bar to put on. Um, might do some accessory lights down here. Who knows? I don't know. So we're, uh, we still got some more stuff to do, more stuff coming your way, more content coming to you guys. So. And uh, we have, there's one more set of uh, accessories that Jeff has put on this thing, and we're going to have to cut to it because we're going to put the front, we're going to put the hood back on. So we can show you the windshields. Front and rear, yep, we did a full front, front and rear, front rear windows. So. And uh, we'll cut to that right now. Okay. All right, uh, another accessory we did, um, again, also through Super ATV, is this rear mirror, or this uh, rear view mirror up here. Uh, it's very simple. It is just a piece of plastic that goes around your roll cage, and then the mirror bar. Let me see if I can get to the other side here to show you how it mounts a little bit better. Yep, so the plastic goes around the roll cage, you just tighten that down, the mirror bar hooks to the top of it, and there she is. She uh, feels, I mean, it doesn't feel loose or sloppy or anything, so we'll see how she uh, she works going down the, the trails and whatnot, but that'll be a, a good start. I don't run side mirrors on my full windshields because I don't want to have to do any of the cutouts and I don't want any spaces there. So when we put the half windshield on, which we also do have, but we don't have it ready to go yet. Also um, from also Super ATV. Video. Yep, also from Super ATV. So uh, Super ATV, if you're watching, hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know you know what to do. I just spent, <laughs> I just spent sixteen hundred dollars with you, so if you know if you guys want to give us a little kickback, we'll be all happy on that one. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next couple of fun things that we did was uh, front and back windows. These are both also from Super ATV. Uh, a couple things about the front window. Because the Talon has so many cuts and curves and dents and dives and whatnot, um, for the life of me, I could not get this to actually match all of the curves. So what I did is I cut out chunks just for the straight sections and just did the straight sections and left the curves by themselves. Now I even, I called them up and told them I was having problems, even um, did a couple of their, uh, their other tips and tricks. Uh, I looped things up a little bit, I soaked them in hot water to make them a little bit looser, and they're just, these are not going to make these turns. Um, yeah, generally I, have, I had the same problem on my uh, razor, and the problem is, is these things have metal in them and they're just not going to bend. They're not going to bend all those tight turns. Yeah. So and um, so, I just did it that way. I'm not going to be overly worried about it. It's going to do its job. It's going to, you know, keep the the majority of the wind off of us. And also, um, just a Walmart special, just some weather stripping that we actually did an adhesive to the windshield itself, and that's actually what butts up against the paint on the roll bar. Otherwise, it will wear down to bare metal and you will get rust. So make sure you put something in between your windshield and in between your roll cages. Always, always, always. So this is the Super ATV scratch resistant windshield. Yep, this is the one quarter inch version. Now for the back window, uh, back window was much, much, much easier. Um, everything bolted onto the top perfect. All of the gasket fit exactly like it should, but we didn't have any of those really nasty uh, curves and bends and whatnot. Now down here you see where I have zip ties. These actually came with like metal L brackets that went down forward over top of the roll bar and then down again. The problem I ran into that with was it was metal on metal and I did not want those rubbing against each other and it was so tight that putting any other type of material between the L bracket and my roll cage just made it not fit at all. So I just ran a couple of zip ties through, it's gonna work fine, and it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to get in and out if I have to. Now it's just one bolt, four zip ties, two Velcros, and out she comes. 
pen, maybe a new sticker. I don't know if you can read that. Anybody that's watched our videos knows I like going in deep water and I get stuck a lot. Now, that being said, he's not been in any deep water in this machine yet. It no. currently has 1.8 miles. So, yep. soon, it. soon to be in some stuff, but... Uh, soon to be in snow and slush and ice and... Up anything. here in the great white north of northern Michigan, we currently have about two feet of snow and... Uh, the two below. Yeah, two below zero, oh. so... Now is the perfect time to do accessories. So. Okay, well that's uh, pretty much going to wrap up everything that we did today. Uh, overall, um, very happy with the quality of the stuff that we installed so far. I mean, obviously we haven't run anything through its paces yet, but putting everything in, things seem to be built very, very, very well. Um, make sure you check out Super ATV, they got lots of cool stuff there. Um, we'll put a link in the description below for them. Yeah, everything you see, some stuff was bought on Amazon, a lot of stuff was bought on Super ATV. Everything you see, there'll be a link in the description for it. Yep, so we got more stuff coming. We'll be doing more installs, so keep checking back. And we really, 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 really hope to have some actual riding videos for you guys really soon. I want to get the 100 miles done on this. I want to get the suspension broken in. I want to get the engine transmission and clutches broken in. I want to get that first oil change done and do some ripping. I want to be ripping on trails, I want to be ripping on the dunes, I want to hit whoops, I want to hit jumps, and we're going to tell you exactly how all of this works with the new Fox Live Valve, and we're, uh, we're pretty excited, and bring you the content. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'd say I hope you learned something, but we didn't show you enough to learn anything, we just showed you what, what we did, and what we thought of the stuff. But uh, thanks. If you made it this far in the video, we sure do appreciate it. We'd really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button right down. I hope I'm pointing to the right corner. Right down there in the corner. And uh, every subscribe helps us. We're, we're so close. By the time this comes out, we'll probably be over 500 subscribers, which is halfway to our goal of 1,000. And, uh, you know, every, every subscribe helps. So please, please subscribe if you can. Um, like, share, comment. And uh, please keep checking back and watching more videos. Uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Jeff, got anything to say? Once again, stay safe. See you on the trails. Have a good day.